On the interval from 0 to 2 pi, identify the non-permissible values of theta for the trigonometric identity tan theta equals 1 over cotan of theta. So that is a reciprocal identity that we probably memorized, but uh, we never pr thought of the restrictions on this. So how do we determine the restrictions on this identity? Uh, probably the easiest way is to change this to primary functions. So I'm going to look at the left-hand side first, and, and we'll get the non-permissible values for the left-hand side. So when we look at the left-hand side, tan theta can be written as sine over cosine. So if tan is being written as sine over cosine, then our non-permissible value is the bottom. Cosine of theta cannot equal zero. So if we think about the unit circle here, we're thinking where is the x-coordinate zero in the unit circle? And the x-coordinate is zero at pi over two and three pi over two. So that are two non-permissible values for the left-hand side. I think we should also consider the right-hand side. The right-hand side is 1 over cotan of theta, which is 1 over cos over sine. So there's a few things that are similar here. Uh, and what's similar is we have a, a reciprocal function again, but when we have a reciprocal in the denominator, our cos and sine, both of these cannot equal zero. So not only uh, can cosine of theta not equal zero, that's right, even if the top is zero, zero divided by sine is zero, so it's still one over zero. That's no good. So, you know, I could, I could borrow these values over here for the same reason. So that's still pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. But I also need to solve sine theta cannot equal 0. And sine, when we think about sine, we're thinking of the y-coordinate not being equal to 0. And when we're thinking the y-coordinate not being 0, we're thinking right here, right here, and here. So we're thinking 0 and pi. We may be tempted to say 2 pi, but if you look at the way that interval is written, it doesn't, doesn't want us to include 2 pi. So that are our answers. Uh, these are our answers. We should put them from least to greatest. So identify the non-permissible values. The smallest is 0. The next one is pi over 2. The next one after that is pi, and finally, 3 pi over 2. So that is our answer to this question.